Here's a little technical Tuesday segment about our magnetic clutch weights. Uh, we're just going to go over a few things uh, for you, those of you that don't know. Uh, the portion where the pin goes through is considered the heel. Uh, this is the tip, and the weight sits in the machine and rolls like this. This is a Articat clutch weight. This is a Polaris XP1000 clutch weight. This is a Can-Am clutch weight. So if we're referring to the heel, uh, that's this side. If we're referring to the tip, that side. Uh, and the hole positions on this one would be one, two, three, four. This one would be one, two, three. And in the Can-Am weight, we had one and two. If you want uh, to have the most effect at lower speeds, uh, on this weight, you would divide that into four segments. So the first 25% of your shift, uh, 25 to 50% of your shift, uh, 50 to 75, 75 to 100. Uh, this would be divided in thirds, so the first 30 shift, second third, and the last third. And on this one, you would have your low speed and your high speed uh, magnets. So say uh, you're set up, somebody we tell you to set it up uh, on this four position weight, one, two, one, zero. So you'd put uh, one magnet in the first hole, two magnets in the second hole, one magnet in the third hole. Uh, so if you want to make your shift more aggressive down low than we initially sent you, uh, you can, but your RPM is right, you can move your weights uh, from a tip position closer to the heel and that'll load your low speed, your first 25% harder. Uh, so you could, if you want to pull one out, easiest way to do it is stick the magnet in, you can pull and it'll pull all the magnets out. Now if you want to uh, add more load down low like we're talking about, just put one more magnet in there so you'd be 2200. Zero, zero. Uh, if you want more tip weight, uh, so more, drop your RPM a little bit at uh, full shift, but uh, keep your lower shift RPM. You would add to the tip, which is this end position. So you could just add one out there. Uh, each magnet's 1.4 grams. Uh, it works about the same on every weight, except for on the Can-Am, you only have two positions to change. On the Razor, you have three positions. For, uh, for your Razor people, I usually like to think of this up to 25 miles an hour, 25 to 50, and 50 to full speed. On the Can-Am, uh, this works up to about 33 miles an hour, your low one, and above 33 would be your tip. So. Uh, that's our technical Tuesday section on weights. Uh, look forward to hearing your comments and, uh, and what you'd like us to do Tech Tuesday on in the future. Thanks.